16.1a, complete the square. Find c. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is easily factored to something like a plus b. This is where what we're talking about when we say complete the square. What we want to do is get our factors, factorization in this form. To make ax squared plus bx plus c a perfect square, no matter what we started with, we want c to equal one half times b, and then the quantity b was squared. It comes from the fact that our middle term is two times our a and our b. But if our a is 1, as in this case right here, then we're looking at just b, and so our middle term then is just 2 times b, and that means that it is the same as our c, or half of our c squared. Okay, so that's where this formula comes from. Let's take a look at how we actually put that to work. So in our first example here, we have x squared plus 10x. So what we're looking at is 1 half times 10, and then we're going to square it to get our c. So half of 10 is 5, so 5 squared is going to equal our c. 5 squared is 25, so c equals 25. Now when we factor this, basically what we're looking at is, we're going to have this as x, we put our plus, and our b, this is our, our b, and we have x plus 5 squared. Let's look at this second one. Well, we're going to take half times 7, and then we're going to square it to get our c. Well, half of 7 is going to be 7 halves. We always leave these in a fraction form. We want this squared to equal our c. So in this case, that means that we've got 49 fourths. That's our c. Factored, this looks like. Well, we just put x, we bring down the sign in the middle, and this is the number we want, that's our b, and it's going to go right in here, and the whole thing squared. So example three, again, we're going to take one half times the three sevenths, and then we're going to square it. So we're going to have 3 fourteenths squared equals our c, which is going to be 9 over, let's see, 169, I think? No, nope, 196, it got it backwards. Okay, so that's our c. Factored, this looks like x, bring down the sign in the middle, this is our b, so we're going to have 3 fourteenths, and the whole thing is squared. Let's take a look at example c. Again, we're going to take 1 half times our 6 fifths, and then we'll square it, which means that we're going to get, let's see, we got a common factor, let's take that out. Looks like we have 3 fifths quantity squared equals our c, which is going to be 9 twenty fifths. So in a factored form, our perfect square looks like x, <coughs> excuse me, plus, here's our b, 3 fifths quantity squared. And we're done.